I'm Kande and this is the process. To a certain point, it's, it's uncomfortable to talk about my work, my, myself, you know. Pero, este, I guess, you know, I mean, this is the work that uh, I've been wanting and, and to produce and produce for, for a while. And, you know, I feel that I'm tapping into literally areas of my imagination that, uh, that uh, I was hoping that I didn't know they were there, you know. It's the, the freedom that comes with it. I mean, it's like, I can, I can best explain it by saying, you know, well, when you're driving in a car, you, you have to stop at the stoplight, at the stoplight, right? You have to stop at, you have to make a stop at the stop. Because if you don't, uh, you're breaking the rules, A, B, or rather B, A, you can kill yourself or B, you're breaking the rules, right? So with, with my paintings, you know, I, I can break all the rules that I can think of, you know, and, and, uh, and create something out of that, right? Um, or formulate something out of that, you know, and, and uh, usually a painting tells me what it is after it's done. Uh, I have a general idea in my mind as 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 to the uh, the visually what it's gonna be, um, and uh, it becomes uh, something. It's amazing how it becomes something. It becomes something solid in my mind. You know, it it, it starts off uh, with just a plain old panel or plain old uh, canvas, and. Uh, and then it becomes something. It's amazing how it uh, it just um, becomes an object, you know, of language. You can, you can say. Well, vivo mas is is basically how este, I learned that I was more alive when uh, my first uh, child came around. And uh, this was back five years ago. Este, um, she, she was born, and then and, and that's the first thing that inspired you know me to think of uh, me that I was more alive, you know, vivo mas. You know, it's, it's a, something that I told myself. And uh, and with this show, this is this is sort of a celebration of uh, of more life. You know, more more output of art also, right? Uh, more inspiration, uh, more color, you know? Um, and the unexpected uh, images that, uh, that as like a child's mind uh, as the perceives, right? Uh, you know, it's uh, amazing how in, in a child's eye, in an infant's eye, everything's abstract because they don't know what everything is, you know? They see, they see shapes, they see colors, they see, and that really, that really kind of made a, I guess, you, I don't know if you would, you would say an organic connection with me, right? To fully accept the abstraction. And those are the basis of my, of my uh, show and, and of uh, my artwork. Um,
people who talk about the border, but there are people who live on the border. And Kanye grew up here. And... Well, you know, it was interesting because yesterday I went through his website and he's got work from 10 years ago till the present up, and I was able to see how he's developed his technique. I, I've been trying to find a label for his work. And people want to know, oh, well, what does he paint? And it's hard to describe his work briefly. And he said, I didn't really want to call him a postmodernist, and that I consider a compliment, um, because he doesn't have sort of the cynicism of postmodernism where they're appropriating or taking from all these other artists um, in a way that sort of mocks them. And I think his work is very heartfelt and um, very respectful of, of the world that he lives in.